morning children today i am going to start new chapter physical quantities and measurement why do we need measurement measurement is an integral part of our life when we are going to new place we must know its approximate distance from house when buying vegetables and groceries we will want to know their weight to pay the correct amount of money thus we need to measure the quantities of most of the things around us able to take the correct decision regarding their utilities to find out the exactness of unknown quantity we need to compare it with the known fixed quantity of the same kind so we can say determining the exact value of unknown quantity by comparing it with the known fixed quantity of the same kind is known as measurement now physical quantity any quantity that can be measured is called a physical quantity for example the volume of milk in bottle the distance between your house and school and the weight of your body are few example of physical quantities there are two types of physical quantities first one fundamental physical quantities and second derived physical quantities fundamental physical quantities that do not depend upon other quantities are called fundamental physical quantities there are the seven fundamental physical quantities length mass temperature time electric current luminous intensity and amount of substance on the other hand derived physical quantities are those physical quantities that are derived from the one or more fundamental physical quantities are called derived physical quantities for example area length into breadth volume length breadth and height speed distance upon time density mass upon volume are some derived physical quantities which are derived from the fundamental physical quantities now measuring a physical quantities the measurement of the physical quantity consists of two part first one magnitude and second one unit means the measured value is always written as a combination of numeral along with the unit take example pencil box after measuring the length of pencil box found that the 20 cm here 20 is a magnitude and cm is unit now traditional unit in the early days the people used to foot and foot step and hand span or four arm means cubit for the measurement of the length but these unit vary from person to person therefore people felt the need to have standard unit which could be used for accurate measurement and could be accepted universally in 1791 the french academy of science developed a system of measurement known as metric system in this system the unit of length was named as meter the unit of mass was named as gram and unit of capacity or volume named as a liter with passage of the time it further divided into cjs system and mks system cjs means centimeter gram second and mks means meter kilogram second these two system arose a need of having a just a one universal system in 1960 The General Conference of Weight and Measure met at Paris and adopted the international system of unit. The units of seven fundamental physical quantity in the SI system. Now, multiples and some multiples of unit. Sometimes the size of SI unit either too small or too big to measure a certain quantity. For example, a meter is a too small a unit to measure the distance between two cities. while it is too big to unit to measure the thickness of wire in order to have the comfortable measurement in such cases the multiples and some multiples of si unit is used for example centimeter is a sub multiples and the kilometer is a sub multiples uh, multiples of meter again a centimeter is a sub multiples uh, and 